Hey everyone, it's Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Ski Mask, the Slump God mixtape thing. Beware the Book of Eli. The South Florida Madman, Ski Mask, the Slump God. He's back. If you've been following this channel, you know that I, I've had high hopes for Mr. Mr. Slump God for a while. Ever since he blew me away with some of the tracks on last year's You Will Regret mixtape. Now what made some of the tracks on that mixtape so special? Slump God's super speedy lightning fast flows, hilarious gross similes, his really animated one-of-a-kind delivery, his spazzy ad-libs, and the deranged, jittery, and abrasive trap production that he typically hops on top of. One issue though is the tape was kind of on the short side, but Slump God ended up reloading the thing with singles and other tracks he released afterwards, which overall improved the quality and the flow of the tape quite a bit. However, I do wish some of that material actually ended up landing on here instead, songs like Catch Me Outside and Baby Wipe. There were also a few tracks on this thing where it felt like Ski Mask was kind of swapping out his unique one-of-a-kind delivery and flow to make something a bit more auto-croony, a bit more trendy. Overall, this tape just read to me like a decent project from an artist with a ton of potential. So now comes in Beware the Book of Eli, which has its own set of pros and cons. Absolutely, this tape is more consistent than You Will Regret originally was. Ski Mask seems to have a firmer grip on what exactly it is that makes him unique as an artist, and he hones in on that. With hilarious one-liners, really odd reference points, dropping lines where he's saying that he wants to spoon this girl like a Danimals, or slurp her like a Gogurt, or on the opening track to this thing where he's rapping about a girl looking him up and down like an elder's scroll, or him saying that his diamonds are cleaner than a baby dog's tongue. I'm at your head like a hair sewing. Hide and seek. Where's your hairline going? Your bitch icky Vicky that hoe got the cooties. Only time I would touch her when I give her noogies. Either that or when I'm trying to rub off one of my boogies. Honestly, that's just the tip of the iceberg on this tape when it comes to how ludicrous Ski Mask's lyrics can get. Overall, I wouldn't say the substance and content of what Ski Mask is saying is all that different than a lot of his contemporaries from the SoundCloud set, from the Trap Banger set, but he definitely sets himself apart from all of them with the supremely weird way that he delivers it. All coming out rapid fire on these insanely tight triplet flows, enhanced by equally speedy and, and tweaky ad-libs, and incredibly explosive production. On the opening track to this thing, Lost Souls, I don't know whether to laugh my ass off or just go wild. Just the idea of drowning someone in the river of Lost Souls in the chorus of this track, I don't know, just, just kind of feels like a different experience. Also love the ultra distorted trunk knocking beat on this thing. Eerie warped synth leads. I mean, I'm not crazy about Rich the Kid. I find him to be one of the more generic rappers out there currently, but he does keep the energy level high when he does feature. The song Run features production from Timbaland, surprisingly. I love the eerie little woodwind synths he throws into the track. It's yet another moment on the record, including the opening track, that seems to play into this idea of Magic, mysticism, almost like fairy tales. I mean, just look at the cover of this thing. It looks like a, a child's uh, fantastical storybook. Now, even though this track lasts like one minute and 47 seconds, which is not the only track on this thing that lasts about that length of time, but still, even with things being as short as they are on this project, Slump God makes a genius use of his time by just being hyper-focused on the structure of these songs. Because in under two minutes, he still gets in an intro, two verses, and two choruses. Which I guess goes to show that with him rapping faster, he can finish songs faster. The diaper shit intro gag at the start of the song Throwaway is quite literally throwaway. But still, this song is another highlight for me in the track listing here, especially with Ski Mask's like, weird, warped, contorted, throwaway repetition chant on the hook. Throwaway, 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 throwaway. Throw away. I cannot even make my voice do whatever the hell he does on this track <laughs> to make him sound like that. While this is one of the more low-key tracks in the track listing, it's really just oozing with Ski Mask's eccentricity. Even when he pumps the brakes on a song just a little bit, he's riding the fringes so hard. Then we have the unapologetic banger coolest monkey in the jungle. Obviously in reference to that whole H&M hoodie ordeal, there are a few bars on here as well as on other tracks too where he's kind of poking fun at racists or 
making fun of or threatening the KKK. And on this song, yet again, we have references to witches and him being a wizard, more allusions to magic and fantasy. It doesn't come up on this tape so often, I would say it's a concept, but it definitely brings a vibe. Now this track, like many others, delivers more gut-busting verses. Both Ski Mask and his feature on here make reference to Family Guy's Quagmire's key catchphrase, giggity. And while the feature verse on this thing may not be as amped as Ski Masks, it certainly has a, a similar twisted sense of humor. The song Suicide Season features this slow, dreary, eerie beat. Definitely another cool down moment on the album. The sample, which I can't play, sounds like something out of a, an old children's storybook cartoon, but now flipped into a dark suicidal trap banger, with Ski Mask making reference to sex making his, his desire for death kind of melt away. I wish the song were a bit longer, given that it is one of the darker moments on here and that the lyrical tone kind of matched the instrumental vibe of the song a bit more. But still, the track is pretty much a highlight for me. Uh, another song, Child's Play. I mean, when it comes to aggressive tracks on here, this track is just... It's easily the most insane of the bunch. 5K, 10K, what I make today. God, that refrain is an earworm. And just the rumbling bass, the distorted, overdriven bass on this thing, damn it. The song is murderous, weird, hyper-aggressive. The Chucky references on the hook are funny. Now, I will say that there is a bit of a lull in the middle of this project, which, I mean, for a project of this size, you really don't want. It's just 20 minutes, it's just 10 tracks. You can't really afford to have a lull. The song Do I Have the Sauce has a very cool vibe, very cool flow. Some of the lines on here are highlights, like him saying that he wants to bend that shit like the letter C, or him saying, uh, Sesame Street, I'm a monster for that cookie. However, there are also some Erica Badu and cow jumping over the moon lines and references that really could have been much funnier. Don't hit quite as hard, and overall, across the entire tape, I'll say that the two verses on this song are maybe two of the least eccentric here. And then there's also the matter of the hook, the aha, aha, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, the chorus is mostly ski mask kind of saying uh-huh rhythmically and <laughs> It wouldn't be the only repetitive chorus on, on the record, but it just seems so off the cuff and just, I don't know, just thrown out there. It's weird, but I don't know. To me, this track just kind of falls flat. Flatter than every other song here, anyway. A lot of these same issues kind of transfer over onto the song Geekin, but with a different vibe, a different style, as this is yet another slow, moody, auto-croon ballad. And while I wasn't head over heels for it, and yet again it feels like a moment where Ski Mask's personality takes a back seat, to the style, the trend, the sound that he's chasing after. He does do a better job with this sound and going in this direction though than he did previously, so that's good. I actually still kind of hear him on the track, doesn't sound like a Travis Scott ripoff. Just a bit more personality length and maybe even a feature are what could have made the song so much better. As far as the finish of this thing goes, Ski Mask mostly sticks the landing. Bukaki and Dapper Dan don't bring much to the table that previous tracks didn't already, though I will say Dapper Dan's quotables are much greater than that of Bukaki. Not to mention on that closing track we're having another unnecessary Rich the Kid feature here, this one seemingly less interesting than the first. Overall though, I really enjoy this tape. I really loved the vast majority of what was here, and I don't know, it's just like a really killer, short, deadly, funny, creative, out there, dense, entertaining, and totally cracked project that I certainly recommend. Ski Mask has definitely improved since his last project. He's clearly gotten a better sense of the direction he wants to go in, too. And as good as this project is, I'm seeing still more potential in what he's doing. I just hope he continues to take what he's doing here, hones it, finds ways to improve tracks like Geek, and if he is going to go in that direction, and finally, on his next drop, just puts out something a bit more substantial. Because while I really enjoyed listening to this tape, simultaneously, I, I just feel starved with 10 tracks, with 20 minutes. I'm starving! I'm feeling a strong 7 to a light 8 on this thing. Tran, Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe, and please don't cry. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell as well. Anthony Fantano, Ski Mask the Slump God, forever.